Welcome back to Code Maven 2.0. I'm Teacher Azlina and I'm going to cover Code Bytes 2.2. Okay, first of all, let's do some recap. You have done Code Bytes 2.1 with Teacher Kalsilia and you have learned how to bring your cartoons to life. You have created some sprite okay, in your scratch and also you have done some animation, didn't you? You make one of the characters move, right? So now let's move on to Code Bytes 2.2. Chatty creatures, how to make your cartoon animals talk. Alright, so in this second lesson, the main important thing that we will learn today is how to make the animals talk to one another. So do you still remember what an animals did you create for the sprite? So it's a llama and also a zebra. So without further ado, let's begin and open our scratch. Okay, so with uh before we start, I would like to remind all of you that uh, to always uh, save your work. So here you can see in this tab file, you have this option uh, whether you want to create a new project or you want to save the project. So you can click save now every now and then to make sure all the changes that you made are saved. All right. Okay, now. Okay, so you have your zebra and your llama. And we want to make them talk each to each other. So how do we do that? But before that, let's look at um, the progress that you have done so far it, from the previous class. So you made the llama, you created the llama and created the zebra and the zebra moves toward llama. So how do we make them talk to each other? So now, look at these code blocks here. So we go to this purple color Okay, it's named looks. Okay, uh, so here you have some of these uh, blocks. The first block says, you say hello for two seconds. So we choose that. Okay, drag it here. All right, ta-da! And let's change this. Okay, because zebra would like to talk to llama, right? So it says hello llama. Okay, for two seconds. Okay, so now when you click the green flag. Alright, the zebra moves toward the llama and say, hello llama, right? Okay, so what's next? So of course, llama would want to reply to zebra, right? So when you click to llama, okay, it's still empty here at display area because we haven't done anything uh, specific for llama yet. Okay, we, we only add the llama, but there's no movement, there's no animations yet. So now, in order for the llama to be activated as well, so we go back here to the uh, sorry to the events. Okay, so remember that you added this for zebra, right? So now we like to add this for llama as well. Okay, so we click. That's when click. All right. So um. Next, we go to the control, we add the wait button, we wait for 5 seconds, okay, alright, so why, why do we have to do this, because uh, remember, okay, when we go back to zebra here, you see that uh, previously, zebra moved from one position to another for 3 seconds, and he, sp he spoke to llama, Two seconds so it's already five seconds so we wait for five seconds before the zebra can start okay which is we are with the with the reply okay okay then we go back to looks and we add okay say hello but now okay it's the llama replying to zebra so it will say hello zebra for two seconds okay so now you can see when you click the green flag. Okay, hello llama, and it says hello zebra. Okay, so now uh, the zebra. We go back to zebra. All right. So B zebra has some reply. Okay, so what would zebra say back to llama? Maybe he wants to know. Okay, how is uh, Lama doing? So we say, how are you today? Okay, for two seconds. If I just directly 
reduce this okay let's see what happens zebra moves hello llama hello zebra and the reply from the uh, the zebra how are you today it happens at the same time when uh, llama is saying hello zebra so it doesn't really um, looks nice because they are like talking to each other at the same time so that's why we have to remember to always have the wait button here okay so uh, llama spoke for two seconds just now hello zebra so that's why we wait for two seconds before we add another sentence for zebra okay so zebra would say how are you today okay so when you go to llama okay if llama wants to reply back to zebra again we also have the wait button here okay wait for two seconds all right and then okay with a reply it will. So what will Lama reply? Hmm. How's Lama feeling today? How are you feeling? So maybe, hmm. Okay, maybe Zebra is not feeling that well today, right? It's not feeling good. Okay, so he will reply. Hmm, not very good. Okay, so not very good. So you go. Uh, again, okay, with the sequence where you have the wait block here. Alright. Of course, uh, Zebra would like to know uh, what's wrong with uh, Lama. Why, why is Lama not feeling good, right? So we want to ask again. Why is that so? Right? So... So as you can see, so that's uh, it's very important for us to follow the sequence, follow the order, okay, and to always add this wait button so that okay, uh, the conversation they don't overlap with each other. All right. So when you, when zebra says why is that so, then you go back to llama. Okay, the llama answers. Okay, and remember the wait block, and then. Alright, so why? Hmm, why Lama is not feeling that good today? Because Lama is hungry. I'm hungry. Alright. Okay. So, how is Zebra going to help Lama with that? Lama is hungry. Okay, so we have some answer to help llama right so zebra would say oh sorry it's okay if you make some mistake here okay you just uh put it back to uh in the proper proper order okay so you see all right and it's the um let me use my magic to create food create food okay all right so it seems that Zebra has some magic power here. So he's going to let, uh, he's going to use the magic to create some food for for Lama. All right. Okay. So let's see, uh, what happens. Okay. So we have done. We have uh, created some conversations. Right. Okay. Let's look at this area. Okay. Hello, Lama. Hello, Zebra. All right. How are you today? And the Lama says, not very good. The zebra asks, why is that so? I am hungry. Uh, let me use my magic to create food. Okay. Alright. So actually, that's all for our class today. So uh, you have done uh, a very good progress today where you have learned how to make these two sprite talk to each other. Okay. So... That's the end of Code Byte 2.2, but please stay tuned for Code Byte 2.3 because, of course, we want to know how Zebra is going to help Llama to create food, right? Uh, so, for that, stay tuned for Code Bytes 2.3, so where you would learn how to pass some notes, okay, how to trigger some fun, all right? Uh, stay tuned. 
hope to see you again for Code Bytes 2.3. Bye! Thank you.